In this one, we're just gonna make our pages look just a little bit better. Um, right now, they don't look great, so we're gonna do a little bit of template inheritance as well as adding in Bootstrap. We cover this a lot more in a lot of our other projects, so we're not really gonna dwell on it too much right now, especially because Bootstrap 4 is not that far away. Um, it's probably gonna be coming out within the next few months, but in the meantime, Bootstrap 3 is still very, very valuable, which is what we're gonna be using. So what I mean by changing this, I mean how this looks. It's just gonna render a little bit differently, so it's just a little bit cleaner as to how our, our site looks, that's all. Um, so let's go ahead and go into getbootstrap.com and you're gonna wanna click on getting started. That's gonna bring you to this page right here. We're just gonna be grabbing the Bootstrap CDN. I'm gonna grab this right here. That is just the CSS. I don't really need the other things at this point. And I'm gonna go into my templates. So the first one I'm gonna jump into is home.html. And I'm gonna actually make this a full on HTML template. Um, that is a full on HTML file by doing doc type HTML and then opening up an HTML tag and then closing an HTML tag and then opening up a body tag around what we've already written and then closing off a body tag and then finally opening up a head tag and then closing off a head tag. This is some basic HTML stuff. So hopefully you guys already know how to do this. If you don't, it's fairly straightforward as we've seen. Um, so this is the style sheet that we're gonna be working off for the rest of our project. And in here, I'm just gonna put a title tag and I'll just say cur.co, shorten that URL. Close off that title and there we go. Okay, so now we've got a little bit better styling. If I save it and refresh on my page, what I'll see is it's now showing it just slightly better. It's not a lot better, but it's definitely slightly better. The first thing that I'll do is I'm gonna get rid of these inline style sheets and instead use bootstrap classes. And the first one is going to be, I'll just say text center. And then I'll also have to put a class inside of it as column small 12. So that's a, a column that, um, this is basically saying align the text in the center and then this is going to take the full width of its containing element. So I'll do div class equals to container and then div class equals to row. And again, if you want to know more about this, definitely check out some of our other Tri Django projects where we talk more about Bootstrap. And we do plan on doing a Bootstrap course, in uh, off, entire Bootstrap course when the new one comes out on joincfe.com slash projects. So now that we've got this, we've got a container class row and text center column small 12. I refresh in here. It's now a little bit better and it's responsive to the size of the browser. The other one wasn't as responsive. This is much, much better. Um, so our form class, we're not really gonna change that, but I will add our input. I'll say class equals two and I'll set a actual class here and I'll do BTN and BTN, um, let's say primary and that's button classes, and there we go. So now I have the ability to do it. Um, I do wanna change the way that that is rendered. I should probably just say submit button and a placeholder. We'll do that in a moment. Um, but anyway, so now we've got this template file, right? And if I actually go in here and submit something, it still goes back to my old stuff. This is because we have different HTML for each one of these, right? So what I wanna do now is instead of working off of this inside of my templates, I'm gonna make a new file in here. This is the external templates, and I'm gonna call this base.html. And I'm gonna copy everything from home.html and paste it inside of base.html. I'm gonna save base.html and get rid of the container here. And, in, and inside of the body, I'm just gonna put the curly bracket parentheses block content and then I will go right below that and do in block content. Sometimes you'll see it just as in block, but we'll leave it as block content and in block content. So this is doing template inheritance. So these blocks, I can actually replace them if I do inheritance. So back on home.html, well, actually before we do home.html, let's go to success.html and we'll go on top here and we'll say extends base.html. So when it's saying extends base.html, 
That means that base.html is its parent element and I can replace things in it, such as block content and in block content. I can totally do that. And that is gonna replace this area right here, at least on the success page. I'm gonna do this same idea here on already exists, paste that in here and say exists already. Nothing else is really different. So we save that and we can go ahead and shorten this blog again. And notice that the styling does look a little bit better and it's going off of this base.html. So if you look up here, it says shorten that URL. I can inspect the element here and actually see all of the things that are coming through for the CSS and just generally what we're doing. Now I can do another one and that is block title. And we can say in block. Let's try that again, present in block title. And of course, when I say block title, I mean the page title. So going back into the base, this is the page title here. I'm gonna put it around just the cur.url, or cur uh, co, just like that. So this is the block title, or, or sorry, we didn't want it there. We wanna keep cur. we wanna put it here. So block title is gonna go here in block. Oops, that should be block again. Title and there we go. So, so now we can dynamically change that inside of any given thing. So for us, we're gonna just say object.get short URL and that's gonna take over that block title. So if I refresh in here, it now shows it or we could just do block.get short code itself and then there, there it is. So that's kind of one way to work with that. You can also do super or block dot super to have the original stuff in there as well. So if I wanted to have what was originally inside of that actual block, I just call block dot super. When I say inside originally, I mean what's inside of these tags. So we save that and refresh and notice it's doing that just a little bit more dynamic, which is really cool. Um, so already exists. I'm going to do the exact same thing with success and we'll just change this to success. Save that. And now what I want to do is change the home.html to the exact same stuff. So it's really simple. We just get rid of this and do extends base.html and we'll do block content. And then down here, just in block content, save that refresh on the home page, and it's back to what it was. Cool, so that is implementing Bootstrap. Really simple, very straightforward. We gotta fill out that thing. We do that if we um, did something incorrect. Oops, not com, but just like this. Not valid because of no.com, right? So we now have that. I will get rid of that validation. I'm gonna do two things right now, and that is going into my forms and get rid rid of the validate.com, first of all. And the label, we'll just say label being just URL, or rather, I don't even want a label. Instead, I want a placeholder there. So to do that, we're gonna jump back into the form itself. I'm gonna just separate these lines a little bit. And I'm gonna write a new widget. So widget as in how it should render, and that's forms.text input and we wanna just add some stuff inside of that and that's attributes equals to and placeholder. And this is what we wanna call it. So whatever placeholder we want inside of the field itself. So we'll just say um, short or long URL, cause that's really what it is. Um, but we can also add in another attribute in here, which gives it some more bootstrap level stuff. And that is a CSS class. So we just add class and this is gonna be form-control. So we save that, go back into Chrome, refresh. Whoa, um, so we've got our placeholder in there and now the form goes really wide. Um, remember how I said that the div, if you go back here, this takes up the entire um, width of the containing element it's in. So our form, we can actually put in div class equals to column small four and then we'll offset it by four as well. So it's column small offset four. And then underneath the form, we close off that div, save it, 
tab this in a little bit and I'll refresh. And there we go. Now we've got a long URL, looks a little bit better. It's styled better. I hit shorten. It now brings me into that shorten stuff. Um, the new in, in exists, we might want to add a class to that. And we'll just do BTN and BTN default. And we'll do that same thing on success. All right, so now if I refresh in here, I can, I can see that I can do this and I can click on new and it brings me back to that home page. Um, that's not the last thing I wanna do. The actual last thing I wanna do is go back into Bootstrap and go to examples and scroll down to our custom components here. We wanna get this cover one. So I'm gonna click on this and I wanna to go to view and developer and view source. So I actually wanna view the page source here. The main thing is, is I want it to look more like this this to look more like this. And I'm gonna do that by first of all, copying this cover.css. So we can just copy that whole link first and bring it back into our base, right? Cause that's where our other CSS is. And now we need the actual URL for this. So I'm gonna copy link address and replace this with that. So we save it and we go back in here uh, that page is already starting to look better because it's got that background now, the same background as this, but I want to bring it down in there. And to do this, I see that it's in site wrapper, site wrapper inner, and so on. So I'm going to actually copy um, from in here, from div to div. I'm going to copy that and put it into my base. And then instead of having it um, with all this stuff, so this right here, I'm going to get rid of the masthead, this cover part. And instead here, I'll put um, cur URL, right? Actually, the cover container is probably where we want the block content. It's right in here. Or perhaps, actually, it's probably better inside here. Paste that. So now we can get rid of this div here. This one we don't need. This is just kind of how we want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out, save it, and let's take a look at what renders. We refresh, and now it's off to the side a little bit, and that's because of how we actually did that page. So if we go back into the home and just change this to be in column four, small four and get rid of that one, save that, refresh, it's gonna, it should bring everything back, get rid of that text center. And that's not working, so let's paste in what I just cut, which is all of this stuff. So cover heading, just making some slight changes here. We're gonna change that to being the title. Let's cut this, paste that there. And then the rest of it should be fine now. If I refresh, we want it to be in here. So I'm gonna put inside of this lead, that's where I'm gonna put the form itself, still with that div class of small, or four, put that in there. And then this other part, let's get rid of that. And I'll finally get rid of this last thing, save that, refresh, and it's off to the side still, which is okay. Uh, I'm gonna make it column small six instead now, and then do column small offset three, save that, refresh, and now it's looking a little bit better. Like shortening the URL is now sort of realistic. If I do it, it now brings me back to this, Notice it's off a little bit, just slightly off. That's because of how we uh, um, uh, set it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that and also get rid of that. Save those, refresh. Now it's in the middle and this is looking a little bit better. One more thing that I might wanna do is with these URLs, I might want to have um, just a different style there. Um, and I'll do that by just looking at Bootstrap real quick. And we're gonna jump into the components I'm gonna do a look for wells. So we're gonna actually put it inside of a well. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and just put a div class being to well on success and already exists. Save that, let's go back in, refresh. And it puts that whole thing into a well, which is not necessarily what we want. I just wanted the, the two links in there maybe, um, but I'm just gonna leave it without that and then our actual um, link itself, I'm gonna add a button class to that as well. And we're gonna say this is button primary. And I'll just do BTN, actually we'll do BTN link and button primary. Uh, that's the exist, we are doing it in the success one. So let's add this same class 
into already exists, save it, refresh, and there. Now we have a little bit better of our link here, at least for that. Um, so this is now looking better as far as our URL shortening service is concerned. It's not perfect. It's, it's definitely along the lines of something that we may actually want to build. Um, we still have a few more things that we want to do, but that's now integrating Bootstrap. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.